City Class of 2024. Pledge of Allegiance. Our flag is over the stage. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. City School celebration of the class of 2024. A few reminders before we begin. Please put your phones on airplane mode. This helps with our Wi-Fi based sound system. If you've been to some previous functions, you know sometimes the more um, interference we have, the harder it is for the cell these microphones to stay with us. Restrooms are located in the hallway to my left. We ask that everyone remain seated during the ceremony. You will have access to individual pictures Mr. Crave is taking via a link that your teachers will send to you Monday. If you don't receive this link, please reach out to Desiree Stevens and we will put her contact information in the announcements over the next couple of days as well. There will be an opportunity after the ceremony to take photos with our balloon arch over here with friends and families if you so desire. We would like to acknowledge our esteemed guest for this evening, Carly Gunderson, school board member, Jack McCarthy, school board member, and John Muldoon, assistant superintendent. To our families, we would like to thank you for entrusting your child's educational experience with us. To our faculty and staff, we would like to thank you for your hard work and dedication to ensure this class made it to today. To the St. Albans City School class of 2024, we thank you for the opportunity to watch you learn and grow. We are proud of your accomplishments and excited to see all the places you will go. After this ceremony, your journey at City School will be complete. 
We wish you a summer of sleeping in, sunny days, and adventures starting tomorrow. We know that you will accomplish great things as the BFA class of 2028. At this time, we will call to the stage our first student speaker from Team Renaissance, Liliana Chok. middle school. I'm sure there are points in all of our time here when, when we didn't think we would, but we did. Congratulations. Now we've got an even bigger storm coming. High school. Don't worry, it won't be nearly all that bad, but it will be different. Now I've only been in the school for two years, but in that time I've made some of my best friends and best memories, and I'm honored to take those with me into high school. We've all created bond, even if I haven't been here for that long, I've come to love the little, little community that we have at the school. We've all created bonds at the school with the people here, whether they be peers, teachers, or any of the other awesome people that we see every day. For everyone here, you have at least that one person that'll stick with you into high school and be your friend, support, and whatever else you might need to survive. I know what it's like to be the new kid in school to feel like you're out of place or don't belong in a community that people already belong to and with people that already know each other. I know what it's like to stress about if you'll fit in or if you'll make any friends or if you'll even ever get used to all the new changes and people and places. I'm sure a couple of you know that feeling too. You know what happened? We made it through it. Now, once we walk through those doors on the first day of school, we'll all know that feeling and we'll all make it through it. For some, high school will be a chance to reinvent yourself, to make yourself into the ideal version of you. For others, it'll be a chance to finally focus and get serious about school and the future. And for even more, it'll be just another step in the road of life, a chance for new friends and new opportunities and new memories. We'll get a chance for all of that in just a couple months. The first day will be a whirlwind of stress and nerves and excitement. Every single one of you, me included, will feel out of place and awkward and stressed. Every person going into that building will. You know what? We won't be doing it alone. We have a community here that we can take with us into high school. We're all going on to bigger and better things, but we're doing it together. None of us should be alone in this. I want everyone to promise me that you'll be there for every other person here at City, to support them, to lift them up, to assure them that they aren't alone, no matter what. Things from here on out will be different. There's no question of that. People will grow apart, and people will find new friends and settle into their own little groups of like-minded people. Still, we'll bring the bonds and memories that we've made here with us. We will always have this community and the friends that we've made here. We will always be a part of this community, even though our time here has come to its end. We're going through these changes together. We're going into the unknown together. And we're moving on together. I wish you all the best of luck moving forward, and thank you for letting me take up your time. stage, our student speaker from Team USA, Grant Sheehan Myers. Thank you all for coming to celebrate with us tonight. Our experience at St. Albans City School has been important in preparing us for our futures 
Throughout our time here, we've gained valuable knowledge and skills that will help us as we continue into high school and beyond. In the classroom, we have been challenged, but no matter how hard the problem was, we always got through it. One important thing we learned was how to be responsible with money. We learned this through a stock market game, where every week we would be able to invest in the stocks. The goal was to have the most money each week. In math, we continued to learn how to be financially responsible by learning about checks and paying bills and taxes. Even though it was hard, it was important to learn to set us up with comfortable lives as adults. As a community, we have all worked on building healthy relationships with each other. While we might disagree on a lot of things, at the end of the day, we're all a community and have built a safe and friendly environment for all. To me, building a community means all of us coming together and making memories. Whether we're all jamming out to party in the USA, taking part in activities for veterans, creating projects as a team, playing kickball, relaxing outside, or catching monsters at the bay, we have all grown together as a community. But there are memories that aren't just built by students, but built by teachers as well. Like when this boat car comes playing football with us at recess, when Miss Paige would play four square outside, or when Miss P got pied in the face the other day. And playing against Mr. Coffee in volleyball and beating him. That happened a lot. I will remember when Mr. Kelly was pushing me to solo in band last year, and now I enjoy playing solos. Finally, to Mr. Salad, it is never a bad day when you see him. Thank you for everything you have done for this community and school, and we wish him luck in retirement. Overall, our experience at St. Albans City School has helped build a positive future that we are bringing into high school, which will continue to grow. Whether that's pursuing further education, entering the workforce, or tackling personal goals, I am confident that the skills and lessons learned in our time here will continue to guide and support us along the way. Now can we get a round of applause for the class of 2024? receive their awards here. We ask that you hold your applause um, till after each award is given. Ready? The ELA Award recognizes students who demonstrate exceptional creativity, eloquence, and a profound appreciation for the written word. From crafting compelling narratives to analyzing complex these young wordsmiths showcase a mastery of language that captivates and inspires. Recognizing their dedication to storytelling, critical thinking, and the art of communication, serving as a testament to the ability to shape ideas and ignite imaginations. They enrich our world with the beauty and depth of their words. That's a lot, ELA people. <laughs> the ELA Award. ELA Award is awarded to her team renaissance, Liliana Choman.
and Mireille Germain Trudeau. And these are our Mathematics Award winners. The Science Award recognizes students who are observant, curious, and wonder about the world around them and are logical, objective, and creative problem solvers. For Team Renaissance, Jessica Coulomb. And Jeremy Heskett. For Team USA, Samuel Bowen. And Stephen Carbone. And here are your Science Award winners. The Social Studies Award recognizes students committed to uncovering history's complexities and a curiosity for diverse cultures. These students foster positive change in society, inspire their peers, and can persevere. For Team Renaissance, Maya LaForce. Also from Team Renaissance, Sawyer Marshall. For Team USA, Grant Sheehan Myers. Also from Team USA, Evan Bassett. The Unified Arts Awards, oh, sorry. Those are your social studies award winners. The Unified Arts Awards are awarded to students who demonstrate an interest, dedication, and self-discipline in a specific area of the arts. This year's recipients are, for chorus, Jessica Coulomb. For band, the Woody Herman Jazz Award goes to Teddy Sawyer. The Band Director's Award goes to Jude Spencer. For Drama Backstage, Nina Helmuth. For Art, Liliana Choman. Mireille Germaine Trudeau. For physical education, Colton Parker. And Evan Bissett. Here are your Unified Arts Award winners. The Raider Spirit Award is awarded to a student who demonstrates school spirit, Raider pride, a positive attitude, and dedication to our school and community. This year's recipient is Braden Johnson. Memorial Scholarship was established 36 years ago in memory of Carol. She was an avid basketball fan and a great supporter of BFA basketball. Because of this, her family and friends established a scholarship fund 
to encourage current and future students at BFA St. Albans to improve their basketball skills. Students from area junior high schools are selected to attend either a Comet or a Bobway camp each year. I am proud to present this year's award to Stephen Carbone. The American Legion Awards are presented to two students who demonstrate courage, honor, leadership, and patriotism within their school and community. This year's recipients are Aiden Hamler, and Madison Abair. demonstrates strong qualities of citizenship and academic commitment through their actions and personal relationships. This year's recipient is Jude Spencer. kind enough to follow those directions. Our eighth graders worked really hard this morning to do it. And I promise you it'll be a whoop whoop when we're done. <laughs> Line one, stand up please. Madison A. Bear. James Beatty. Evan Mattingly Bassett. Abigail Bigelow. William Billings. Samuel Michael Bowen. Stephen Carbone. You, audience, you're doing a really nice job. <laughs> Liliana Choman. Kevin Marie Comstock Tetro. Parker Cook. J. 
Jessica Coulomb. Jackson Cunningham. Halen Diet. Damian Michael DeCarmine. Jude Des Jardins. Ethan Doyle. William Finnegan Drake the Seventh. Victor Edward Dunbar. Jayla Francis. Rosie Fuentes. Jermaine Trudeau. Ariana Gleason. Aiden Hamler. Isabella Hanvey. Row three, stand up. Nina Helmuth. Jeremy Donald Heskett. Brayden Johnson. Hannah Jowers. Ella Cosma. Maya LaForce. Ace LaFountain. Anne Marie Charles Lamel Codling. Abraham LaRock. Landon A. Levine, Jr. Caleb Levine. Brianna Longway Salter. Sawyer Marshall.
Aubrey Danielle McRae. Chase Nichols. Callie Pappas. Could I have mine more? Stand up. Aaron. Paul Parent. Colton Parker. Jeremiah Prim. Zach Quinton. Teddy Sawyer. Wyatt Chevaletti. Jayla Smith. Forrest Stell. Louis Tatro. Tristan Taylor. Jaden Tedford. Alora Temple. Michael Allen Way. Owen. Wilson Kuhn. <laughs> Thank you for waiting until the end of all the names to applaud. That being said, congratulations to the St. Albans City School class. I need you to remember 
that life is like a bicycle. You won't fall off the bike if you keep pedaling. It's all about balance. Challenge your limits, and I know this class will, but remember that life is not a race, it is a journey. Again, congrats to the future BFA class of 2028.